Mitt Romney's badly damaged. They're reeling. They won't release the tax returns. They're being stubborn about that. They've had all these Republicans who come out and say, release it already, release the hounds, we're in so much trouble. And guess what's beginning to happen? Meltdown. John Sununu, one of his top campaign advisors, goes on television this morning, and the meltdown begins. This guy doesn't understand how to create jobs. So there's no surprise, there should be because of that statement, no surprise on why he failed so miserably over the last four years in terms of job creation. He has no idea how the American system functions, and we shouldn't be surprised about that because he spent his early years in Hawaii smoking something, spent the next set of years in Indonesia, and uh, uh, another set of years in Indonesia, and frankly, when he came to the U.S., uh, he worked as a community organizer, which is a socialized structure, and then got into politics in Chicago. Uh-oh, getting desperate, bringing out the drugs, bringing out he's un-American. You know, he spent a lot of time in Hawaii. When are these guys going to figure out that Hawaii is part of the United States of America? And by the way, so is uh, San Francisco, so is Boulder, Colorado, so is Massachusetts. Oh, right, they figured that out when they uh, nominated, or we think are about to nominate, the go former governor of Massachusetts. But before that, it was Texachusetts, as if they wasn't okay. Remember when Bill O'Reilly said, you know, it would be okay if the terrorists bombed the court tower in San Francisco? Okay, does it get any worse than that? But here, and he spent time in Indonesia. So he does this on national TV. But apparently, if it wasn't clear enough, he actually went on a call with reporters and melted down in that conference call as well. Now, we have quotes from there. Apparently, he referred to the president as, quote, dumb and stupid. He says that he comes from a corrupt political culture, referring to Chicago. And they have resurfaced Tony Resco who is the financier who got uh, in a lot of trouble and that they had some connections to President Obama and had given him some money in the past. So they're like, we're back to Resco. Okay, if we can't go to Jeremiah Wright, we're definitely going to Resco, but Wright is around the corner. <laughs> okay, and we, you know, we're going to call him stupid, we're going to call him corrupt, we're going to call him everything in the book. And then if that wasn't clear enough, he also said he wished Obama would learn how to be an American. Oh, damn. You shouldn't have gone there. I don't know if you know this, but he's president of the United States of America. So a little respect, okay? <laughs> These guys, of course, have no respect, and they have no bounds. And when they are attacked with the truth, which is that Mitt Romney did have tax havens in the Cayman Islands, in Bermuda, in Switzerland, he did hide his money there. He won't release his tax returns. He claimed he wasn't in charge of Bain Capital between 1999 and 2002. And we have signed forms where he is in charge, the CEO, the president, the managing partner, etc. So they're caught. So when faced with that and that constant barrage of criticism, how do they react? They truly reveal their true selves. Oh yeah. He's not one of us. He's not one of us. He, he's from Indonesia. He's from Hawaii. He's black. Did I say that? Uh, he's not American. He's, yeah, he doesn't know how to be an American. Oh, really? That's funny. Because I thought you guys were saying that, uh, you know, that President Obama shouldn't attack Mitt Romney for having uh, offshore accounts, that that's the way America works. And it's not fair when President Obama says, hey, wait a minute, why does he have accounts in a different country? And you want to talk about calling people un-American? Why don't you bring your country money back to your own country that you're trying to be the president of? You know what's not very American? Having a Swiss bank account. Have owning 100% of a foreign corporation in Bermuda. And you want to talk about who's American and who's not? Now, Sununu knew that he stepped over the line, so then he had to try to backpedal later in the conference call by saying, oh, what I thought I said, but I guess I didn't say, is that the president has to learn the American formula for creating business the American formula for creating business is not to have the government create business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Way too little, way too late. You accidentally revealed what you all actually think, which is how can people vote for this guy? He's not like us. Remember, he's the other. He looks so different. How could you vote for him? Now, I've got, my guy has accounts in all different countries, doesn't believe in America, outsourced jobs from America, made a tremendous amount of money doing it, 
owns foreign corporations, but he's not American. Obama's not American. Look at him. Do I have to say anything more? Look at him. That's what Sununu is saying. This is a meltdown, and it's ugly, and it doesn't help Mitt Romney. It only makes him look more desperate and more pathetic and reveals his true colors.